Hello and welcome to today's video. Yes, this is my third video in this outfit. Everything the same. Um, that's because Alex is watching the kids. So, today's video is going to be a tag. Now this tag is one that I have been seeing going around so much and it's still a very popular tag. It is the booktube real talk tag and I have it all written out and I spilled water on it so that's fun. Um, yes, and I am sick so you might have noticed in the other videos and this one I am very nasally just sick, down, sick sounding. Yes, so I don't really have any drama, so if you're looking for like a video with a lot of drama, this probably isn't it. I don't really, I don't really have a lot of drama. Um, so there's seven questions, and then number eight is to take your friends. Um, so number one, what's something nobody told you about BookTube when you started your channel? Um, so I didn't really talk to anyone I don't think before I started my channel. I started it four years ago and I kind of just started it because I had so much spare time and I was slightly lonely and bored so I started it. Um, what's something nobody told me? So there's a lot that nobody told me because I didn't talk to anyone. Um, but I don't really know how to answer this. What's something nobody told you? Um, hmm. I guess when I started it, I didn't really understand the importance of consistency and socializing. <laughs> um, I was just gonna post and just post whenever I had time. I just do a post irregularly, I don't think. Like, I tried having a schedule, but I was really bad at it. And I just posted. I did not really interact within the community very well. And resp replying to comments kind of like made me very stressed out. I really like it now. I don't really get stressed out. But I had more engagement at the beginning, um, four years ago, but I didn't know what to do with it. Um, I was very insecure, and I guess I just did not engage within the community, which is really important. So I kind of wish I had known that, I guess, when I started, was to really engage. Engaging is a huge part of it if you do want to grow, so definitely devoting time to engagement. Number two, what's your opinion on typical booktube videos? So like wrap-ups, hauls, TBRs. Um, I like them, personally. I like having that video documentation when I look back on like my videos. I like having, okay, this is what I read every month for like years. I like having that documentation. Um, especially if I reread it or if I want to know something about it, I can go back and watch it. Um, yeah, I did change though my hauls, no, my TBRs and wrap ups. I stopped really t giving summaries for them, and I really don't like that I did that. And I just kind of did it subconsciously without really paying attention to that I was doing it, and then it kind of just kept happening. And I really don't like that change I did. I liked when I talked about the books more in my wrap-ups and TBRs. So I need to go back to how I used to do it. But I love watching them. If someone, like, I don't know, I love watching them. I love watching wrap-ups. It's like four or five, however many, mini reviews in one video, right? I love it. It helps me decide if I'm gonna read a book. So I like them. Um, also, I love, I love when people put out every month, they put out new books coming out this month. Number three, what's an assumption you had about booktube before you joined? Was it proven to be correct or not? So an assumption I had about booktube is that, I don't know, you could make the videos and get arcs very easily, I guess would be one. And actually at the beginning I was emailed by, um, some publisher and I got added into the reviewer list and nothing came of it so I have no idea and I thought it might be easier to grow your channel before I started and then I think when I started I realized oh I'm not good at this so um, I guess that was assumptions I had beforehand um, was that it would be easy to get arcs and um, if you're on NetGalley then it is easier um, but I just don't feel comfortable emailing companies for physical copies. So 
guess that was proven to be incorrect. Um, number four, what is something you've done that has actually helped you grow your audience? I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm not like the best booktuber out there or YouTuber. I'm really bad at consistency and yeah. Um, I think what helps though, I when I do notice an increase is when I'm active in the community. I am sharing that I've actually posted. I actually <laughs> um, post consistently and yeah. Um, I don't know. I think that's it. Consistency, being active, and sharing that you actually made a post probably. So my channel has had ups and downs and I haven't grown in a really long time but when I was growing I was it was a while ago. Like I've had it for like four years maybe and life has changed a lot. So when I was growing, I was really into my videos and I was had my friend in them a lot and I did different things and I had a lot of fun with it. And I th think people, like my personality came across better and people could just see that and they related better to it. So I grew a bit then. Number five. What is a common mistake you see new booktubers making that you made? Well, I make all the mistakes still, honestly. Um, what's mistakes? Um, okay, so I think a mistake would be maybe not being consistent, um, not being active in the community. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not really the best booktuber out there, so I feel like my advice isn't very, like, um, isn't really the best advice. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe just if being inauthentic, trying to be like everyone else instead of being like yourself, maybe. Um, but it's like really hard at the beginning because you're so nervous. So yeah, just trying to get over that nervousness, maybe. Um, number six. What are your thoughts on working with publishers and sponsorships? I've never done it, but hey, if it gives you money to pay your bills, I think it's a great thing, as long as what you're promoting is actually something you like. If you're promoting something that doesn't really align with your channel or who you are or what you like, what your values are, I think it's really silly and people can really see through that. Um, if you're actually promoting something that you really like, and you really like it, you really believe in the product, then I think it's really good because um, you're making money and you are helping yourself financially in your situation. So I think it's really good for someone to make money. <laughs> I think it would be great if people could pay their bills. So I don't see anything wrong with publishers, like working with publishers and sponsorships. Um, one day maybe in my future, but not right now because I'm not a large channel. Oh, hi, Alex. I'm downstairs so Alex came to the window. I don't like being watched when I'm filming. Um, I don't even know what I was talking about. Um, publishers, sponsorships. Anyways, I don't work with them because I'm not a big enough channel, but hey, if I could, I would because I need to pay bills and I don't really buy diapers very much anymore. Um, yeah. I'm gonna have a third baby, so I, I need to figure out a job somehow. So, you know. Hey, I'd be okay with it. Um, number seven, do you think booktube is dying? I really don't think so. I feel like there's always new booktubers. Like every time I go on, there's like new booktubers and they grow so quickly and it's insane. It's a really good thing. Like I think booktubers talking about books and motivating people to read, it's a really good thing. So I hope it doesn't disappear. I really don't think it will. It'll just morph and change and evolve over time but that's like with everything so i think booktube has changed over time and it's nice and the last one is tag your friends i was going to quickly get a little list out and say it but my camera overheats and i have a bunch of videos to film for my other channel so i am going to have the names pop up right here in the fun little list i'm gonna take a few people and i don't know if these people have been tagged already i don't think they've done the video I am double checking to make sure, but here's who I'm tagging. Yay, tagged you in a video. So 
and I have to go tell them I take them. So thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I don't really have any drama. I didn't really spill the tea. I am not hip with the trends. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not. Anyways, I'm gonna go, because that's embarrassing. Uh...